For almost half of his life, Beckett has been living with cancer with his treatments on a timeline, but now there is an end in sight. For Emily Avra, there's an upcoming date that hasn't left her mind. September 27th of 2019. It's when her son Beckett will receive his last cancer treatment. It's indescribable. It's been a long road and we're almost there, so it's pretty, pretty amazing. For the last three years, Beckett has been battling very high risk acute lymphoblastic leukemia, first receiving his care at Arkansas Children's in Little Rock and now Arkansas Children's Northwest in Springdale. It was really bad. I felt I didn't want to have it, but I did. So I decided to deal with it. Diagnosed on June 8th of 2016 at just four years old, it's been a long journey for Beckett, who's now seven. Sometimes it hurts my heart, and sometimes it hurts my rib. Sometimes um, I throw up. But along the way, he's had some help. Meet his port, he's named Ned. He gets magic milk when I when he's hungry, I guess, and when he needs a drink, he has chemo here. While Ned has been there for Beckett through all of his treatments, he's ready to say goodbye to his port. He just wants to come out. Just as ready as he and his family are to mark that last X on the calendar. While it is the end of his physical journey, it's something that we will not stop fighting. Emily tells me once Beck is finished with his treatment, she's going to make it her mission to educate others on just how common pediatric cancer is. Now, September is Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month with a gold ribbon chosen by the American Childhood Cancer Organization to promote awareness. Right now, Arkansas Children's treats more than 90% of the natural state's pediatric cancer patients. For more stories from our Give Kids a Miracle series and how you can support those battling pediatric cancer, go to N wahomepage.com. In studio, Chelsea Helms, KWA Northwest Arkansas News.